it's a very long day. You do feel hungry occasionally, uh, but uh, I suppose you get used to it after you, you know fasting for many years. I started fasting personally when I was six years old. And uh, at that time, we started fasting during the winter, so the, the days were much shorter. And uh, I actually got a feel for, for Ramadan. The country itself is not, it's not Ramadan, so the country itself is not fasting. Whereas if you were in an Arab, Arabic country, yeah, you know, er, everyone, everything will be open at night and everyone's doing it. And I think here kind of makes it a bit more I don't know, special. And because during Ramadan, we abstain from food and drink. We're not just abstaining on a physical level of food and drink but also on an emotional level as well that we have to understand uh, different aspects of the religion. It's a very long day, you do feel hungry occasionally uh, but uh, I suppose you get used to it after you, you know fasting for many years so you know I was six now I'm 21 it's, it's a, lot, a lot of years of fasting so I suppose I did get used to it. I started fasting properly when I was 12, 13 but like I used to do like like Rima kind of like a few days every once in a while because it was back in winter when I was a kid so it was much easier then and I suppose so I didn't take it half as seriously then even kind of in my early teens because it was more like okay yeah I'm fasting with my family all my friends are doing this but now as I'm older and mature and I actually understand the religion and the importance behind it so like that it is actually a spiritual cleanse like I distract basically I get rid of all distractions and I focus on myself and my connection to God and it's a really calming soothing month and anything it actually helps you kind of focus for the coming year ahead of you, so it's really good. For me, another aspect as well is, you know, giving back to those less less unfortunate than we are. So, you know, giving donation and uh, helping those in need in different countries, like whether it's Syria or Yemen, you know, or the homeless here in Ireland and things, things like that. So that's a big part of Ramadan as well. Before, like when, let's say, early teens, you didn't really have kind of a circle of friends or kind of a community to go to because like you're younger and you're just kind of doing your family or whatever but now like you know like under 110 yeah, and there's exactly. different kind of dinners going on around the place and people meet up. I just really believe that it's very important for any groups, any feast to actually do to start doing these uh, kind of events because if you're not going to bring people together how are they really how are they going to understand one another ramadan is a month that we all really look forward to people might not think so because it's like thinking oh i'm going to fast for 19 hours it just brings everyone together and it's a time where you could really improve oneself so you're trying to be the best person you can i would really like to see people individuals that have any sort of time to really get involved more uh, to get more and more involved in these kind of events and to promote uh, intercultural uh, uh, discussions. It kind of reminds us there's multiple faces to Islam. It's not just me in a headscarf, yeah. you know, or like first generation or like the, the daughter of a reverse, whatever. Do you know what yeah, kind of exactly. way? It, there's so many different faces to, to like what a Muslim is. And it reminds you that, oh, it's not just the person that prays five times yeah. a day or the person that wears a headscarf, the person that reads Quran every day. Like there's so many different types of Muslim. Yeah. And Ramadan kind of reminds you because it brings you all together. And then there's like, the Muslim that you didn't know was Muslim and you're like, wow, I never knew you were Muslim, do you know kind of way? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's really, really, really eye-opening. Really cool yeah. And it reminds you that your your truth isn't the only truth, that your your Islam isn't the only Islam. And that yeah, your exactly. Faith isn't the only faith. It yeah. teaches you to respect others yeah. and kind of thing, you know, and understand other cultures. 